In this video, guys, we are going to be talking about your comments. And if you have a question, we want you to leave them down below and we will be happy to answer them. Without further ado, let's check out this first question. All right, we're moving on. Just curious on, let's go, can you build one of these bad boys for my side entry Chinook, a barbecue grill bumper? I really love the barbecue grill bumpers that we did on a lot of RVs. And I will tell you that they really kind of allowed me to use my imagination and build everything that I wanted to build. However, they kind of got expensive and really like, I'm going to say maybe not worth it. We've toned it back a version and we're doing uh, still our dual swing rear bumpers as well as a new backpack bumper uh, for the motorhomes for the class C's and class B's. So it doesn't have any swings on it. We're trying to simplify things bringing the cost down on some of these products because just material over the past few years has gotten really expensive and we're not trying to you know just spend all of your money on one item we're trying to really cut costs and redefine some of our products to make them more affordable for you guys so keep going on and uh that was maui builder 1239 so thanks maui builder hey i want to come visit you if you're really in maui can i come hang out with you steve laston 1848 so this is on a three inch kit for the chevy express and it says um, nice tip on the side doors. I think that's how the previous owner got the dent from the side door. I have a Pleasure Way Express and installed Bilsteins on the rear as soon as the front. Can I raise my RV 1.5 with blocks? Still use the regular Bilsteins and not ruin the drive shaft U joints. Also plan Firestone airbags to elevate the rear when towing at least, only when towing. Unless you have better stuff, not radical, with giant tires on a van. Well, I'm going to tell you, here's going to be my two cents on this. So definitely the airbags are going to be great, um, you know, for towing and towing only. If you do need more height out of it, though, when you get into that 1.5 inches to 3 inches, know that you can, you're getting into that fine line of being able to do a progressive spring in the rear so that's going to be really beneficial and since i know that you have a pleasure way these always sit really low and i would hate to also see you damage the skirting that goes along with it my best recommendation to you would be to run our inch and a half, or our three inch lift spindle on the front of it and then we could look at the back and address that maybe to run a two and a two and a half inch lift in the rear most likely we would still be able to use your same shocks as well as get you additional ground clearance with those progressive springs to give you a better ride. Now we can also take into consideration the fact of how much you're going to be towing and you may not have to run airbags at all while keeping more articulation on your vehicle which is going to in turn give you a better ride. So all of these things are really important. Um, Steve Leston, I hope that helps you out a lot and uh, more than just typing it. Again, guys, we're going to keep going on. Those method race wheels are always the fastest. <laughs> Duh. Hello. And, um, you know, we try to, you know, run. We just love running our method wheels on a lot of our builds as they really look nice and uh, it's a perfect addition to them. So yeah, I mean, I just, I love my methods. I'm running them on all my vehicles. I think I need a method wheel for the RV. Would that be awesome? If you have an RV and you would love to run a set of methods on it, comment down below and who knows, maybe we could, uh, we could do something. Method, you, you hear me? I need some method RVs. Wow, I have a Chevy Express and I did not know about the door latch to open wider. Hey guys, thanks a lot. I love just giving you guys, this is Steve Miller, 1168. Um, I'm really glad I'm able to provide you guys with additional information so that, you know, it makes your van work better. If you don't know, we'll throw some links down below as well to help you, you know, really understand some of the things that we're talking about uh, in this. So, Let's keep going. Um, this is Alex 6444. So pre 2008 vans can still run 16 inch wheels without problems. I'm assuming the 08 and up have larger rotors. You are spot on Alex. So in the 2008 and newer vehicles, those vans do have a larger caliper and rotor. 
So when you try to run a 17 inch cast aluminum wheel, it gives you such a little amount of space between the caliper and the ID of the wheel. And then you add wheel weights into it and we see the wheel weights getting knocked off all the time. My best recommendation to you is whether you have an older one or a new one, just step up to the 17 inch wheels. The reason that I really like the 17 inch wheels is a ton of experience airing down my tires, you know, to 12 or even 15 pounds of air pressure when I'm in that softer sand. And that's a real big benefit. I guess I always have flashbacks of the old 16 five inch wheels that would knock the bead off all the time when running low pressure. So that's my 10 cents again on running a 16 or 17 and why you may want to do it. Hey, Eric Boudini, uh, 7818. It says, I wish I was closer to California. Well, luckily it looks like you may have a motorhome. And the great thing about a motorhome is that it is your house on wheels. The whole purpose you bought that was to get out and travel. So on one of those travel adventures, come out and see us. We would love to install a kit on your vehicle. And of course, if you are concerned that that's eh, a little bit too far and I don't want to come into California, let us know. We can help find an installer in your area as well. That's uh, what we're here to do is help. And uh, there is something familiar about that kid and that's uh, J-E-L-I-C-O-E. And I guess we're talking about my son, Caden. You see him on a lot of the YouTube videos as he's here helping out me um, just do day-to-day -day things. He loves helping clean the shop as, uh, as well as just hanging out. Well, you know what else he loves doing is making killer videos. Man, it's almost time for a drink here. He loves making killer videos for kids and teaching kids about tools. It's one of his big passions, and that's why we began Growing Up Garage. That is WeldTech's Designs 501c3 Nonprofit Foundation. So in simple words, that's our foundation. And our goal here at WeldTech Designs, along with Caden, is to help further the education of tools with young kids and do it in a fun manner taught by kids with our whole premise is education through experience. So a lot of good information over there. If you have kids and you'd love for them to learn about tools, head over to Growing Up Garage. So we're gonna keep going through this and let's see, what's the cost to do the same upgrade? Every ROM pricing works. All right, so this is a class C and this is a two inch suspension kit and this is going to be our getaway kit. So if you aren't familiar with this, we introduced this with my parents' RV doing it on there. And I would love to tell you the exact pricing, but really it's gonna depend on the options that you choose. And if you go to our website, it's going to break it down. And many of you may not know, there are additional tabs at the bottom of the page that's going to break down the install labor, tech specs, and really important things that you may want to know about that kit. Dude, we're, we're jamming through these, you guys. Are you liking this? I know that you guys have given this video a thumbs up. You have to be learning something. I'm throwing down a ton of knowledge right here. All right, let's see. How much does a van like this go for? So I guess we are talking about a Chevy Express van, and I can't really, I don't know. I don't sell vans. I just build really cool vans. I, I know that some of these can get really expensive, especially when you get into the four wheel drive vans. And that's where I would really encourage you guys to take a look at our two wheel drive suspension setups, as well as a rear locking differential. You'd be really surprised at the places that you could go with that setup while spending a lot less money. And of course, it's gonna benefit me by having you do a full four wheel drive conversion. But really, the ultimate goal is to get you out enjoying your van and get you to those places you didn't think you could get to in a two wheel drive van. I think ultimately you'll be really surprised and uh, hopefully thank me by coming back and buying a bumper or something like that and uh, just enjoying time with your family. That's gonna be the key. All right, that's enough questions for today. I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you did, like and subscribe to this channel. I will see you guys in the next video.